Tim Peake told students in Portsmouth today it was great to be on home turf. The Sussex-born astronaut who studied for his degree in the city was officially opening Portsmouth's new University Technical College, which is hoped will boost the number of teenagers taking up science, technology, engineering and maths. Brani Leyland reports on a day to remember. <laughs> A local hero's welcome in Portsmouth today. Here to open the city's new University Technical College, Tim Peake was also happy to share a little careers advice. The most important subjects to study are those that inspire you and spark your curiosity to discover more. The emphasis here is on STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering and maths. If it's daunting having your teacher assess your work, try having Tim Peake quiz you on your project about building a base on the moon. Did you, did you have a look at the radiation environment on the, the moon? No, but I did take that into fact to it'll reflect and it will bounce off any uh, radiation cancer. Is this somewhere you could have, have pictured yourself? You're a local boy. Absolutely. I studied maths, physics and chemistry uh, at A-level. And of course, there's a huge percentage of the students here are also studying those subjects. But in addition, things like computer science and engineering as well, which are incredibly important. And to have someone as famous as Tim Peake come into our college and even our classroom, even talk to us, is definitely very different. He's just an incredible inspiration, as you would expect that he would kind of be maybe dismissive about what we're doing because we're only children but he's really open to what we're doing. It's two years ago this week that Tim Peake set off on his six-month mission into space. He says he's had no problem fitting back into life on Earth since but the experience has altered him. I don't know of any astronaut who comes back from space who doesn't have a slightly changed perspective. Um, you get to see the Earth from a unique vantage point, uh, how it sits literally in our solar system. You see how um, large space is and also how fragile our planet is. We are actually a tiny life-supporting planet, the only known life-supporting planet so far, and we need to look after it. When you're not doing the day job of being an astronaut, what's your life like? What's an average day in the office like for you? So at the moment I work at the European Astronaut Centre over in Cologne in Germany and I look after the, the 10 active astronauts we have in the core uh, and I manage the, the, all the support that they need for their mission. So it's an incredibly busy job. This year the European Space Agency had 4,000 requests for Tim to visit. The students here know they were very lucky he descended on Portsmouth today. Bryony Leyland, BBC South Today.